One of the earliest games I remember playing is Resident Evil 2 from back in the day. I've always been a fan of Resident Evil ever since and whenever something like this pops up, it definitely makes me a very happy man. This is Lost and Damned by Cellface, a Half-Life 2 mod that is basically classic Resident Evil but in the Source engine. The mod was released very recently so I wanted to do a quick look on what it is and honestly, I was impressed all around. The idea is great, the execution is great, and it all adds up to be a great little mod. I did talk about Don't Drink the Water earlier which is a similar idea but for Half-Life 1. That mod is very early in development and has a long way to go. But Lost and Damned feels like a proper polished experience that is definitely a treat for classic Resident Evil fans like myself. The way the Half-Life 2 assets are used to create the maps and atmosphere in the mod is done very cleverly. There's a very fine balance between both Half-Life and Resident Evil in this. The music on top of Half-Life assets turn out to be a very nice mixture. The mod uses tank controls and I think that might put off some people who aren't used to playing like that, but you do get the hang of it after a while. We play as an unnamed hero who wakes up not knowing where he is, and he surprisingly sounds like David Hayter. What the? Where am I? I can't remember anything. Not even my own name. The presentation is what matters the most for me in this mod. The way the camera is angled in every room, the way the door opens when you press E on it, and the UI for the inventory just made me ecstatic. What I look for in presentation is not that it's important if it's graphically impressive, but rather the way it appears on screen. And speaking of presentation, using the older games' soundtrack was a fantastic choice. I would have gone for the Resident Evil 2 save theme for the save rooms, but I think the Resident Evil 1 save theme works fine as well. The music overall is selected very well, apart from, well, this one. I'd imagine it's a pickle to figure out how to do classic Resi style movement in Source, but this mod has it pretty much perfect. The way the character moves and runs, the way he turns and shoots, it's almost one to one with the game it is inspired from. The very minor gripe I have is that the enemies, the zombies, are very fast, even though they've been slowed down a little for this mod, but there's this weird uneven balance between the Resi style shooting of the player character and the Half-Life style zombies. In the classic Resi games, the zombies were much more slower in movement and while attacking. They gave a bit of time to the player to move out of the way. They're not that forgiving in this mod. This difficulty spike might prove to be a negative aspect for new players who aren't familiar with Resident Evil. The mod is about an hour long in length, at least that's what I know because I didn't finish it, I played about 20 minutes and just gave up at this point where the corridor was flooded with zombies and I had no ammunition to take them down with and I was on a time crunch so I had to make this video as well. So at the end I'll just summarize it by saying this. This is a very well executed mod with fantastic presentation and great atmosphere. It does need slight polishing here and there but I think the mod author can achieve that by having some playtesting sessions done with a select group of people and implementing some feedback. That's pretty much it for this video, I wanted to do a showcase of this mod, a short showcase and share it with a larger audience so it can get the love it deserves. Do check it out if you like old Resident Evil games or just horror mods in general. So thanks for watching and a big thanks to these members for supporting the channel. Cobalt Dragon, NoClick, Unusual, Geoat, Jason, Fisher Grice, Klaus, TTG, Stevus Brevis, Slamdance, Lamdry, 15 Glorious Minutes, Hawk Assault, Mistress Pabon, Alien Grunt, Mark Jelen, A Normal Street Lamp, T-Boy 301, 
Tier R Droid, The Hazardous Memer, Bipolet the Fighter, and Forgotten. Thanks again, and see you in the next one.